Hey Chucks and Chuckettes, now in between Chuckabirds here for another video review. It's a special one, but aren't they always? <laughs> it's the new Nestle Munchies Gooey Caramel Biscuit Sharing Bar. Yeah, so obviously based on the Nestle Munchies. But also, um, you can tell just by the look of it and feel of it and the look on the, on the picture on the wrapper, it's going to be very similar to the Quality Street Bars that Nestle have recently done. It's very unusual that. It's, uh, I don't know, don't know what to make of it really. It's not in the same range, of course, but they seem to have... I think basically just used the exact same template that the purple one Quad Street Bar had. But just replaced the uh, the chopped hazelnuts with biscuit pieces. So, you know, interesting. So I'm not sure what to make of that really, but I'm glad they've done it because I really like munchies. I think they, weird, some regular munchies basically those you don't know are kind of like these, not quite cubes, they're sort of like a, I don't know what the shape is, imagine a pyramid but with um, basically very much near the centre, the top chopped off so it's got a flat top. Um, filled with like, a, basically chocolate filled with Caramel with a biscuit piece in the centre, basically. Um, so almost imagine like a cube, basically, but with uh, sort of slope sides, you know, relatively slope sides. Uh, it's a reasonable angle, I'm not sure what the angle is, but there we are. Um, so obviously this is the chocolate bar version, so I'm not really sure what it will add to it, but I'm glad they've done it. I guess maybe it's just an easy one for them to do, but as I say, it's confusing that they've done this using basically the same template as the, uh, as the quality street bars that they've done recently. But I'm glad they've done it, yeah. Well, thanks to Andrew Winton for putting me onto this one. Um, very sort of, yeah, pleased I got it. It took me a while to find it, though. I did get it in B&M in the end. I think, um, I think he was originally saying it was in Heron Foods, but I can't find the Heron. I'm sure they do exist. I'm sure there is one near me, but I just never stumble across them, basically. Um, but there we go. Yeah, I think they're run by the same people who do B&M anyway, but even so, there are slight stock differences. But yeah, gooey caramel and biscuit sharing bars. There we are. I think, yeah, I think it does exactly what it says on the tin, basically. <laughs> So there we go. So what's the uh, what's the rest of it say? Any other description? Got sort of less glorified description there. Milk chocolate with a caramel filling, twenty percent. The biscuit pieces, seven percent. Milk chocolate contains milk solids, fourteen percent minimum, and the vegetable fats in addition to cocoa butter. Milk chocolate contains cocoa solids, twenty-seven percent minimum. Okay, there we go. Yep. So uh, anything else of interest in there? No, any palm oil? Yep, palm palm fats, palm oil. Don't know if there is any real difference between palm fat and palm oil, but I think. Uh, same difference as far as the environment's concerned. Um, as far as I know. There we go. Anything else of uh, interest if it decides to focus back in? Rainforest Alliance, certified cocoa, RA.org, if you want to know more. Uh, yes, the film's recycled. With bags at large supermarkets. Don't recycle at home, it says. Still don't get that. So if anyone knows why you don't shouldn't recycle this at home, let me know. Maybe it's just because it's not something they collect at home. I don't know. A strange one, but there we are. I don't know anyone who takes these in to be recycled or products in. Maybe people do, but I've not been aware of it. So there we go. So underneath this flap, it's got a bit more information there, which is uh, hidden away. Let me show you that. But it says gooey caramel and crispy biscuit encased in a milk chocolate shell. There we go. Mm, Nestle Cocoa Plan. Supporting farmers with best of chocolates. Nestle and Rainforest Lines working together to help improve the lives of cocoa farmers and the quality of their product. All right. So, uh, yes, find out more at re.org. Yeah. And carry information, let's see what we got. So, per 100 grams, the whole bar itself is 87 grams. So, per 100 grams, a bit more than the actual bar. 507 calories, 26.8 grams of fat, 15.8 of which are saturates. So, you can realize it's not too bad per 100 grams. Usually, chocolate products tend to be between 500 and 550, so this is on the lower end of that. Per two pieces, 89 calories, 4.7 grams of fat, 2.7 of which are saturates. The bar says contains five servings. So 10 pieces, so it's a two by five bar, I assume. All right, yeah, that's very nice, that's very interesting. Definitely there's much more to say though, so we're uh, a bit of flourishes going on. You can see, of course, quite quite large flourishes. You know, definitely seen smaller, but uh, definitely seen worse as well. So yeah, all the same, still quite large. That's what I mean. Mm. I think overall it looks pretty nice. Quite reminiscent of the regular Munchies products and Munchies chocolates, but um, I say, uh, not as much gold, I think, going on that the regular munchies have. As far as I remember, I'm sure they're sort of they have like a red wrapper surround, but in the, each one is individually wrapped in like a, um, a gold foil from what from memory. So, hmm, missing the gold part a bit, but oh well, not too bad, I'll say. <laughs> All right, let's give it an open and find out more. So, let's do it. Let's give it an open. Right, okay, I'm going to give this a new, 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 new Nestle Munchies Gooey Caramel Biscuit Sharing Bar and open. Yeah, it looks very, uh, very tasty. I mean, before we do though, we'll just measure the, uh, the flourishes a bit because there are some. Quite extensive flourishes on this one. So it is uh, about 19.3 centimetres, 19, well, 19.2, 19, 
So about 19.3, I think. 19.3, just about, because it wasn't, it's not, this isn't flat, it's like this. So yeah, 19.3. So I remember these being very uh, <laughs> difficult to open. The, uh, the equivalent sort of quality street bars were very difficult to open, so I'll see if they have many more joy with this one. So Terry could have done about 900 and, uh, 960, 970 reviews, believe it or not. So if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not done so already. Yeah, still not a very neat open experience. The Toyota took a couple of links to place for all my other reviews, as well as some related ones, some other monthly reviews, things like this. Um, yeah, so after you watch this one, then click the like button and subscribe to the channel. Go check this out. Hope you enjoy this too. <laughs> Alright, let's... Uh, we can get into it relatively okay. I try to sort of not destroy wrappers too much if I can help it. It can be difficult, especially with these ones with a bit, a bit not the best wrappers, I must say. Some of the camels seeped out a bit there. Eey. Okay, Ooh, look at that, quite a lot of it seeped out. Hmm, it's had a bit of a bit of impact there. I don't know how that's happened, but um, it has happened at some point. <laughs> so, yeah, this one's seen better days. I think we would definitely say. So I can't quite recall what I said the uh, <laughs> the uh, flourish was, but it's our 15.3. I think it was 18.3, wasn't it? I seem to recall. Yeah, I think that was roughly it anyway. Yeah, so it's at least lost three centimeters anyway. So you know, I'm sure when I replay this, um, or edit it rather, I'll, I'll mention it. Uh, but I'm sure it's three centimeters. So it's 15.3 pretty much now. 15.2, 15.3, what was 18.2, 18.3, I think. So yeah, so at least three centimeters. So that's a fifth of the wrapper. So it's, I don't know if that is the case. A fifth is probably acceptable, you know. But it's basically a segment, isn't it? Really, that you've lost. You know what I mean? Well, two segments basically, isn't it? You know what I mean? So I think a fifth is what I generally deem acceptable for flourish. You know, two actual bar length, um, but. It's still a lot, as I say, because it is still a segment. Yeah, so they're about um, about to three centimeters. So yeah, mm. just under three centimeters. So it is basically, as I say, you are missing out on two extra segments, basically, from the space you should get. Now you can clearly see it's uh, seen better days. <laughs> I'm not sure how that's happened, as I say. It might have just been the way it was. It did a lot of damage from the outside, did it? But um, because it's got that generic design, and the quality street bars have the same design, they're the same shape. But lots of look at that, lots of crunchy bits under there. That's very nice, doesn't it? Yeah, mm, just like it's had a bit of damage on it, doesn't it? Mm. So we'll try and measure it as best we can. Obviously, it has been a bit, it's a bit gooeyfied. So I'll measure it in the non gooey bits, I think, <laughs> for obvious reasons. Just check it's on zero for the width. That's 6.4 and the height. 9.7. In between the segments, what it's worth? About 6.7, roughly 7 millimetres. But you can see there, it's, uh, it does have a bit of a lip on the edge, so it does sort of disguise the fact that it is a bit thinner in there by the shape of it. You know, as I say, you can see it sort of fills in the edge a bit. Yeah, and we did uh, measure the width before as well, didn't we, I think? What do with this? Just about do it with this actually. About 15, I think it was 15.6, wasn't it? If I could measure it properly. This is 15.4 there, but I think it's really 15.6. It's just the fact that I couldn't get the calipers on straight. We'll just do it again just because we're in the same area. Hmm. Hmm. It's coming across about 15.5 now. Hmm. So maybe we have lost a bit more than three centimeters, but there we go. All right, let's give it a, bit of a snap then, see what we're up against. So we can kind of see from the other one, <laughs> all this caramel going on there. But uh, the chocolate jumped off, where's my arm rod? Okay, let's give it a, bit of a chop as well. We can see, chop it, uh, mm, chop it down the edge, I think. There we go. All right, yep, yeah, so that's what we're up against. That's pretty good. You can see lots of uh, biscuit pieces at the bottom. Don't think they, I think they all seep to the bottom, the biscuit pieces. Obviously, you know, for two relatively obvious reasons, the fact that the camel's probably filled in later, um, and obviously the heavier as well, but I don't think they'd be, I think the, you know, the chocolate and the uh, <laughs> biscuit pieces would be mixed first, and then the caramel would be filled in perhaps, and then maybe the chocolate at the top would be poured over, so that's the way I would imagine it's made. But yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. 
The camel filling is probably a couple of millimetres. About four millimetres in height in the middle in the middle part. But yeah, does it taste nice? I think it probably will. I'm very excited for this one. Or is it really, you know, is it a pointless bar, really? I mean, what does this give you that regular munchies don't? I'm not too sure, but well, let's find out. Let's give it a taste. Let's do it. Okay, then, we'll give this a new Nestle Munchies Gooey Caramel and Biscuit Sharing Bar a taste. The wrapper uh, fell apart, well, it didn't fall apart, but it doesn't open very easily. So, um, yeah, then we managed to hold it together just about. So, yeah, so we've got um, sort of segments we uh, sort of well, cut in half earlier. So you can see what it's up against there. Lots of lovely... Uh, Biscuit pieces in, lots of caricacy seeped out. But yes, uh, mm, let's well, give her a segment of taste, find out what it's like. Let's do it. Let's give it a taste. Mm. Mm. Oh wow. Mm. Lots of um lots of crunch. Mm. Mm. It's okay. I think the um It's the chocolate, really. It's, uh, <laughs> I mean, Nestle milk chocolate's not the best. Sometimes it works um, in some bars, like sort of Yorkies, Kit Kat Chunkies. But, I don't know, in this one, it's very prominent and it's very, I don't know, hmm. Let's just try, let's try a couple of local segments to see. Hmm. Hmm. Biscuit crunch is nice. Come on, gives a bit of a, hmm. Hmm. The consistency changed, let's just say. It's not really adding much to the taste, but you know. Hmm. But it's the chocolate, I don't know. The chocolate is really apparent that it's not very good. I don't know, what does it taste like? It doesn't it just doesn't taste very good. It tastes quite sweet, but in a very non chocolatey way. It tastes kind of I don't know. It just does not taste that great. And it really affects the rest of the bar, you know. It's, uh, it's obviously the biscuit and the caramel. The caramel you'd think would have a, a bit of a taste to it, but uh, but it doesn't really. It just has a bit of a texture change, you know. Hmm. That's the biscuit. It's really about the texture. There's no real taste as such to it, but you know, I guess there's, there's obviously some taste to the caramel and some taste to the biscuit, but it's not very, you know, it's certainly not that much of a taste really and the camels are saying you think it would have a bit of a sweetness to it but it doesn't really it's got a nice consistency change i guess but the chocolate hmm i don't know i mean munchies you know i assume you use the same chocolate but i think the proportions just seem a bit different in that and munchies just seem to work you know just the size of them i think it's all quite compact and it's the sort of standard size you know you've got the same amount of camel roughly and same amount of biscuit wrapped in a bit of you know chocolate and just that consistency just works quite well but in this one i mean obviously it's quite filled each segment's quite filled a lot with you know biscuit and things and it's you know it's not like it's not consistent as such but i mean it's just proportioned in a way that doesn't quite work as well as the regular munchies and i feel like the chocolate's not as good i don't know if it's the same chocolate you'd think it would be you know but for whatever reason it doesn't come across as well at all hmm I mean, you know, it's not horrible, but it's certainly, I just think I'd just rather get regular munchies. And even if this, I mean, what, you know, how would this be better than regular munchies, really? I mean, how would it actually be better than regular munchies? What, what's the, really the point of this bar? Because the, the Quality Street bars, for instance, were just a different take on, you know, on the Quality Street sort of, you know, individual chocolates you get from the set. Now, you could argue the same thing. Well, why would you, you know get the bar over that or anything but you know they're kind of they're diff they are a different take on it insofar as you know you only get them in the tin usually and also they're sort of coming across in a slightly different way um whereas this one is kind of the same but just not really you know not just it's just not as good you know what i mean i mean i say i don't know it's hard to explain i hope you understand what i mean like as i said the chop hazelnut version of the, the, the purple one in the bar form as opposed to the chocolate form you know it kind of it's a bit of a different experience really than the actual chocolate itself you know in sort of chopped hazelnuts and things rather than a whole hazelnut and uh, just different proportions it's just obviously a different take on it whereas this one i know that you could say well it's a smaller bits of biscuit or whatever but 
I don't know. I don't feel. <laughs> I feel like it's kind of. It's just not really ever going to be any better because the, the munchy parts are proportioned so well. Um, really, that it's you know. I don't know. It, what I don't understand. I don't know how this would could improve on it really. Whereas the purple one, the chocolate bar, I feel like is is a bit of a different experience. It's a different product. Um, you know, it just it just and you know, so you, you know, you can't buy. Well, you, you guess you can just buy purple ones on their own. I guess it's possible to do that nowadays. But you know what I mean? It's just not quite, I don't know, it's not quite the same. It's more of a sort of condensed, sort of smaller product, which you can just enjoy as a chocolate bar. But I'll say this one is kind of competing with itself, really. It's, you know, this is competing with the munchies um, of individual, well, definitely you wouldn't say it's a chocolate bar, but the, the sweets, the munchie sweets, basically. It's competing with the same thing. You know, they both scratch the same itch, I guess you'd say. But this one just doesn't do it as well. Yes, yeah, so it's a very confused product. I just don't think it's that great. As I say, the, the chocolate really comes across as not being very nice. Mm. I don't know why I just don't know if it's the caramel seeped into it or the caramel's influencing it in some way. It's the caramel that's the problem. I'm not too sure. Yeah. There's a reason amount of crunch as well, but because there's so much of everything else in each segment as well. There's so much caramel, there's so much chocolate. The crunch is kind of lost as well. It just doesn't really work. You know, it's just not, it's not very nice. It doesn't make up for itself. Its shortcomings doesn't, aren't made up for by the rest of it. It's just not very good, basically. <laughs> you know, not proportioned well enough. The chocolate doesn't taste very nice. I can't think of any reason to have this over regular munchies. Munchies are a product that aren't really that great on paper, but they just punch above their weight. There's more than some of their parts. You know what I mean? It just, they just taste nice. Whereas this one, I don't know, it just it just feels a bit, just doesn't, it just isn't very good. And I kind of felt that a bit with the Quality Street bars as well. They just seem to be a bit, um, not made very well. Even the wrapper, I'd say, doesn't unwrap very well. And it just, something a bit disappointed about that. I don't feel like they're, I feel like they're sort of made in a different factory or something by different people who are just, you know, have been contracted to sort of have some kind of Nestle, you know, um, sort of license to sort of do some of their chocolates in different ways and they're just not doing them very well and I kind of feel like they've done this with this as well you know it just feels that way I don't know if that is the case but it just feels that way like it's been outsourced to some other company to make them a bit like some companies like um, let's just say Reese's you know franchise out or license out their sort of products for people to make cake bars of them and things and you just don't use the same peanut butter and stuff like that you know it's the whole point of it, and the uh, so yet product is not very nice. And I kind of feel a bit like they've done this with the regular chocolate products, but in for chocolate bar or chocolate bar versions. And yeah, very strange. I mean, might not have done that, but that's just how it feels, you know. So very disappointing, really. This one, I say, just doesn't taste as good as munchies. Pointless, really, because you just may as well have munchies. There's no reason to have these over munchies at all. Whereas you could argue there is a bit of a reason for the quad street bars to you know exist. Not much, but there is some. And as I say the chocolate doesn't taste as good. The proportions of the fillings are just not quite right. Even you know, just the biscuit is just not, doesn't seem to be enough of it. Even though there's, as I said, there's quite a lot, but there's just just there's a lot of everything else as well. So yeah, disappointing one this one really. Is it one and a half or is it a two? I feel like it's I don't know. It's just about it's probably one point seven five really, but you know, yeah, I'll say a two out of five, but it's very close to being one and a half out of five. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that review. Let me know what you think of this one and the other sort of bars of the same ilk, the uh, Quarter Street bars. You know, whether you like them or not. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out YouTube member program and Discord server. Links are in the description. Click on one of these videos that's been on the screen now. Uh, leave a comment for free. Always great to hear from you, and always do the best to reply. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye for now. See ya.